In this podcast, I will tell you the story of one of the bravest heroes of India, who is not so well known among most Indians. Lachit Bhatbhu Khan. Have you heard of him? He was a general of the Ahom Kingdom. The Ahom Dynasty ruled the Ahom Kingdom in the Brahmaputra Valley in present-day Assam of India. 1228 to 1826, it was well known for maintaining its sovereignty for nearly 600 years. and successfully resisting Mughal expansion in the northeast of India the ahoms defeated the moguls 17 times in their attempts to conquer the northeast of india the best passing out cadet of the national defense academy nda is conferred the lachit borpo khan gold medal each year since 1999 His bravery is respected by the Indian armed forces even today but his story is not so well known to the general population of India Originally named as Lachit Dekha Lachit Borpo Khan the Ahom commander was born during the early 17th century at Betioni in the Golghat district of modern Assam Lachit received military training at an early age and joined the Ahom king Jayadhwaja Singha 1648 to 1663 as one of the king's personal staff because of his early military training lachit was promoted to the post of commander of the simulgar fort and later as superintendent of the royal guards and finally he was appointed as botpu khan by king chakradwaja singha then onwards lachit dekha was known as lachit botpu khan the position of botpu khan was one of the top 5 councillors in the ahom kingdom Since January 1662 the Ahom kingdom was facing continuous Mughal invasions. At a certain point in time the Mughals captured Guwahati and a major chunk of the Ahom kingdom. The Ahom king Chakradwaja Singha appointed Lachit Borpo Khan as the commander in chief of the Ahom army. Lachit started preparations and fought the Mughals and won Guwahati back for the Ahoms in 1667. The Mughal emperor Aurangzeb was furious. He sent a strong contingent of the Mughal army headed by Raja Ram Singh Kachwa of Amber to defeat Lachit Borpo Khan and his army. Raja Ram Singh Kachwa was supported by a massive 71,000 Mughal troops with infantry, cavalry, archers and gunners. Lachit was very strategic. The Mughals were experts on land warfare. They had conquered the entire Indian subcontinent on horseback. Lachit knew the Mughal army was weakest on water and Lachit exploited this vulnerability. Although the Mughal army had 40 ships, it did not have enough experience in water warfare and Lachit knew this. On the other hand, the home warriors were very skilled on water warfare, naval tactics. and since it was their territory lachit made a strategic hole at gohati on the brahmaputra river when the large mogul contingent approached the home army lachit strategically retreated giving the moguls an idea that his army was somehow afraid it was an area called saraing ghat he regularly harassed the mogul army with guerrilla tactics the battle of saraing ghat was a very intense battle Saraing Ghat is an area where the Brahmaputra river is quite narrow. Lachit planned his attack there. But on the day of the battle Lachit fell very ill. He was bedridden. And the home warriors were all demoralized at that point in time because it was a very important day for them. But Lachit put aside his illness and led from the front. During the last stand the Mughals loaded all the ships with cannons and warriors for the final assault. Lachit Borpo Khan made the inspiring speech. When my countrymen are suffering from an invasion and when my army is fighting and sacrificing its life how can I think about resting my body due to a mere illness? How can I think about going home to my wife and children when my entire country is in trouble? When the soldiers heard his speech they were empowered and motivated and they fought with fierceness lachit led the front despite his illness employing all the tactics he had learned during his lifetime 
The Mughal army fell into disarray. Lachit gave them a chase until they left the home area. Their attempts and hold over Assam was once and for all ended. Because of his unparalleled heroism, many people in Assam used Lachit's name to win over any kind of a depressing or defeating situation. Lachit Bhutpukhan is an example of bravery, courage and statesmanship. The Lachit Divas is celebrated on November 24th every year in Assam. Let's all salute to one of the greatest heroes of India, Lachit Bhutpukhan. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Thank you.